Okay, for those who don't live in Australia, today is Anzac Day where we commemorate the fallen who fought in Gallipoli. And whilst I was being dropped off at the pub, because that's how we celebrate in Australia for Anzac Day, I saw the official image of Jared Leto as the Joker in Suicide Squad. So now that I'm home and starting to sober up, it is time to talk about this because holy shit. So as everyone's seen now, because it's pretty much flooding their news feed, the official first image of Jared Leto as the Joker from Suicide Squad has been released. And how does it look? Jesus Christ, the guy looks terrifying. Like seriously, this is nothing to what I was expecting Jared Leto to look like as the Joker. And yes, we have all seen that spy footage photo of Jared Leto showing someone, him as the Joker on his iPhone or someone else's iPhone, and it looks completely different to what we have seen now. Point of the matter is, I love the direction they have taken. First and foremost, let's talk about the tattoos. I think it is something so different and so innovative to see on a character like the Joker. The dude is covered in ink. The dude has damage tattooed across his forehead. He has ha 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 tattooed all over him. He has a massive smile tattooed down his arm. He looks absolutely nuts. Now my good friend Lee, whom I work with, says that his silver plated teeth are a result of being beaten to the shit by the bat flick. Now that is just so cool. And I love that on one hand, he's got his purple glove, his trademark green hair, and his pale appearance. I just really like the gangster slash homicide approach they've taken with this character. And Leto looks absolutely terrifying as this man. Look, let's not beat around the bush. When we heard that Jared Leto was cast as the Joker, we were so amped about it because let's face it, he is an amazing actor. I will say though, he is pretty weird. My girlfriend Bianca has him on Snapchat and some of the Snapchat chats he puts out there pretty damn strange so of course when he's cast as the joke i'm like this guy's gonna do an amazing job because he's weird he's creepy but hell he seems like a nice guy and then this image comes out and that just slates everything in concrete that he is the man for the role look you know me guys i get excited about pretty much everything that I review or talk about. I rarely say a bad thing about anything. I think that's just my Australian nature. But when I first saw this photo for the very first time this morning, it took me completely by surprise because I'd never seen an incarnation of the Joker like this before. To me, it just seems like the absolute and utter epitome of someone that is homicidal yet a gangster at the exact same time. The point is I am absolutely and utterly amped for Jared Leto as the Joker. I've heard him give little nuances of his Joker voice when he's been performing on stage with 30 Seconds to Mars. And that voice that he does, when you compare it to that photo, they just sync up perfectly. And not ever at one point when I first saw this photo, did I ever compare Jared Leto to Heath Ledger nor Jack Nicholson. Every incarnation of the Joker is different. They made it their own. And I think this is just so different and out there. And that's what I love, dare to be different. So guys, if you have seen the first official photo of Jared Leto as the Joker, please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Do you like the direction that the director's taking? Do you like the way Leto looks? As always, thank you very much for your continuing support. And until next time, geeks, always remember, cosplayers do it best.